Brian Schwab, it is your lucky day. I'm going to answer your question in the form of a video. Uh, Brian asked me about his quadcopter dropping out of the sky after flips and rolls. And this is a very common problem. Uh, and, and some of the things that can cause this problem is just a guessing game. You just you swap a motor, swap an ESC, just throw your whole copter in the trash and buy a new one. I don't know. It's just a guessing game as to what's causing it. But in Brian's case, there is a piece of evidence that, that very sort of clearly and definitively tells us what's going on. And that's why I'm going to use him as an example because I think it's a, it's a really uh, instructive example. So let's watch what Brian's copter is doing. And most importantly, let's listen to what his copter is doing. Okay, so what did we hear there? Listen to what the ESCs did. Okay, so we got two notes from the ESCs, doo doot, and if you think about the ESC startup tone, it goes doo doo doot, doo doot, pardon my singing. The first three tones are used when the ESC initializes, the, the, when it gets power, and specifically if it gets power and the throttle is raised, it'll either go into calibration mode if you have programming by TX turned on, or it will just refuse to arm because it, the ESC will not initialize if the throttle's raised. The ESC doesn't want to, if you think about a fixed wing more so than a, a, a multi-rotor, the ESC doesn't want to be in a situation where the throttle is up, the ESC initializes, and then the prop starts spinning when you didn't mean them to. So if the throttle is raised, the ESC will either go into calibration mode or it'll refuse to initialize. It will not go do do do. And by the way, we're talking about BL Heli ESCs here, of course, right? Other ESCs make different sounds. Then the second set of tones, the do do means that the throttle signal has been received. So if you put your ESCs into programming mode, but you're doing BL Heli Suite, right? The ESCs, when they power up, will go do do do, but then they will not make the second set of tones because they're not receiving a throttle signal. Also, if you have your ESCs set, uh, if your ESCs are BL Heli ESCs and they only do one shot, but you've got them set up for multi-shot, you've got clean flight or beta flight set up for multi-shot, the ESCs will not make the second set of tones because they're not receiving a valid throttle signal, okay? So what did we hear when Brian's copter flipped out? We heard the second set of tones. And what that tells us is that the throttle signal went away and then came back, but the ESC did not power down. So what could cause that to happen? Well, uh, the, the ESCs could have browned out, right? You could have you could have lost your battery connection, for example. If, uh, if your XT60 is a little bit loose, the, the, the prongs inside the connector can get a little loose, and then the connector can jiggle and the whole copter can power down. And that certainly would cause the copter to drop out of the sky, right? Uh, but, but if that had happened, we would have heard all of the tones, do 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 We wouldn't have heard just the throttle signal. So we know that the copter as a whole did not lose power. What could interrupt the throttle signal then? Uh, we could have a bad connection uh, on the signal wire. If, you, if you're using pins and the connector is a little bit loose, or if you're soldering and the, wire is, the solder joint isn't good, or maybe the wire has cracked or broken, something could be interrupting the throttle signal going into the ESC. Uh, also, you could have had a brownout. So the 5-volt regulator uh, that you're using to power your flight controller could have browned out. The voltage dropped. The flight controller rebooted. But for whatever reason, the ESCs did not reboot because the ESCs, of course, the ESCs are running straight off of battery voltage. They have their own internal 3.3 volt voltage regulator that supplies power to the ESCs. Uh, so that's that's a thing that could be could, could be causing this. Another question you could ask is, well, why did this happen after the end of a flip or a roll? A lot of times when you have uh, the motor dropping out at the end of a flip or a roll, it's something like min throttle or it's some tuning related parameter, right? Well, don't forget that a flip or a roll is also a pretty violent physical phenomena. So if you've got a wire that's maybe cracked and it's just barely making contact, or if you've got a loose XT60 a battery connector or something, uh, then, then at the end of a flip or roll, the sudden sharp sh shaking shock can cause it to, to ha come loose. So that, that's a potential uh, explanation there. The takeaway, though, is that the ESC tones are super, super useful for figuring out whether your copter as a whole lost power. Did your copter drop out everything on the copter drop out, in which case you'd get the do 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 or did you just lose throttle, in which case it could be a bad throttle connector or your, your flight controller could be browning out. 
There you go. That's your little tip for the day. Hope it was helpful. Happy flying.